Hey everyone, I'm Terrence E, producer on H1Z1 for the PlayStation 4. I'm Mike Madden, lead designer for H1Z1 on PlayStation 4. Launch was a huge milestone, culmination of a lot of work for the team. We're so excited to come out of open beta and share the game with you. On behalf of the team and Daybreak, we really wanted to thank all 12 million plus of you for coming out. Uh, we wanted to take a minute and highlight a few things we've already done and let you know about what's coming up ahead. During open beta, you helped us test a variety of new features, including Revive, the Airstrike Signal, the EMP Grenade, Arcade Mode, and even new lighting schemes. Your feedback also led to gameplay improvements, such as adjustments to vehicles, gas damage, and weapon balance. Since our launch on PlayStation 4, we've brought a ton of content and features to the game. The most notable additions include Season 1 of the new Battle Pass, two new weapons with the RPG-7 and M1 SOCOM, and a new vehicle with the ARV. Additional updates include PlayStation trophies and other quality of life improvements. So what's next for H1Z1 on the PS4? The team's been busy working on a ton of new features and content. We wanted to take a little bit of time today to share some of that with you. Many of you have been asking about arcade mode on the PlayStation 4, and we're happy to announce that the next mode will be coming to the game at the end of August. First up, shotties and snipers. Additionally, each month we will be introducing new daily challenges that will expand our existing lineup, helping players through their battle pass. We're also going to be expanding our list of weapons by adding new guns for short, mid, and long-range combat. The support on PlayStation 4 has been incredible. To celebrate the 12 plus million players who have joined us so far, we've been giving all players who log in and play a match the first ever skin for the Marauder. The brand new, first of its kind, Wildstyle Marauder will expand the Wildstyle collection of items currently available in the Battle Pass. Remember, this is the last weekend to claim your gift. All you gotta do is log in and play a match by August 26th. Last but definitely not least, we wanted to confirm that leaderboards are coming with season two of Battle Pass. Keep up to date, follow us on Twitter, and check out our new forums. Also, just wanna thank everyone again for playing H1Z1 on the PS4. And don't forget, Wild Sour Marauder skin is waiting for you. We'll see you in Pleasant Valley.